Oh, me, this really happening right now, girl. Push that shit out. Ooh. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky. All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn. All of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. Hey honeys, so I just ordered me some DoorDash from La Veganeria. That's what it's called, yeah, La Veganeria. So I guess it's like a vegan restaurant. I've been indulging in vegan foods because I'm trying to lose some weight and I'm trying to be more healthy. And there are a lot of really good vegan places to eat. So I've been looking for them and I've been trying them out and I don't really like to try new foods. So let's, let's hope this goes good. So first I got me my appetizer which is the empanadas. And let's see how they taste. They got me some guac sauce. I'm just gonna use my hands, girl. My hands are clean. I'm gonna dip it in the guac first, see how that tastes. Mmm. It's really good. Wait, is that meat? Hmm. That's really good. Oh, guys. Sorry, I had my raggedy heater on. But I see why vegan food is more expensive. Because it's really fresh and it's really good. I'm kind of mad that this is all the sauce they gave me for these big old things, but make it work. Look. It says plant based, but is this meat in here? Let's see. Hmm. Those are really good. Hmm. So it's not meat. It's vegan pico de gallo and melted mozzarella cheese. De la milpa empanadas. These are really good and they're big. Look how big that is. Man. Hmm. Hmm. I don't even need sauce, but. I love my sauce, baby. And then this looks so good. Mm. Oh. Mm. Is this meat? What is this? Mmm. I know that taste. It's a plant-based meat. I love plant-based hamburgers patties. They're so good. Mm. I'm not even supposed to be eating bread right now, but it's hard to stay away from. And the cheese complements the bread so much. Mm. There's not any pico de gallo that I see. Mm. Let me get me some juice. So I got me some fruit juice. I got grapefruit juice with my little metal straw. Where the money at? 
Bring me some money. I'm looking at. <laughs> Someone is texting my phone. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating before it gets cold. I've been eating all day. Honestly, last night I was fighting my hunger because I had just smoked, but I've been trying to discipline myself to not eat so much and to not eat after a certain time, even though it is eight. But that's how you bloat is when you starve yourself. Cause the air going through you, I just learned a whole lot this, this week cause I've been trying to really lose weight. Mm -hmm. My head itching. Mm -hmm. Now this is really good. <clears throat> I didn't say that about 10 times. Oh, crazy now we got the little philly cheesesteak it looked like they got is this chicken what is this oh it's mushrooms what is this then is it vegan or no i don't know if this is plant but it does say plant-based mexican scratch kitchen so it must be plant-based meat for sure or else i know people would sue and the french fries are so fresh, real squishy. I wonder why they're so squishy though. They should have made them a little more crispy for sure. I mean, the fries are way too squishy, but what else? I'm not gonna complain because that was good. Mm. Girl, let's see how it tastes. Mm -mm. Let me cut it down the middle. That's a little bit much. It's kind of cold. The bread is cold. So I don't know if it's supposed to be a lukewarm sandwich or what. I'm kind of good. Let's see how she hit him. Okay. The bell pepper is good. It gives it some crunchy. And the lettuce is a nice add to it too because without the lettuce it would be way too squishy and soft mm. i would get extra lettuce next time that way it could be a little bit more crunchy in substance because it is real squishy mm. the taste isn't all that the bread is nice but the inside doesn't really have too much flavor the empanadas were really good and the fries are a little squishy but all together i'll give them a six well no mm, presentation and everything for vegan food, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I'll give it a six, cause it is street food, it's not too elegant. A six, <clears throat> it's not all that. I more than likely won't order this again. The empanadas, definitely, I will. Yeah, I definitely won't order this again, it's way too squishy. Honestly, a full order of the empanadas and I would have been good. Mm -mm. And I think it's guacamole in here too. Guacamole is in, it's too much squishy stuff. Um, the bad thing is, but yeah, these are like, I don't think these fries are all the way cooked. Look. Are they all the way cooked? Are they supposed to look like them? Look at them. Look at the inside. The outside is crisp, but the inside is like, you see, it's like not, it's squishy, so it's cooked, but it's like raw, if you know what I mean. So I guess they just want a little crunch to it. Maybe that's how they want it. Like with a little bit of crunchy. Still gonna eat them. <laughs> Cause that little spice on them is really good. Along your knees, I'll hear the angels' voices. Oh no. You know what I like? People be judging the fuck out of me, and then when they meet me, they're like, damn. That's a dope ass little bitch. But look, I need to lose weight. My arms are getting big. I think they're kind of big for like, oh no. Oh, I still got a good definition. Bah! <laughs> Don't ever do that. Don't put your hands on nobody, okay? Um, but yeah.
Camila's pregnant as hell. We're not gonna say the name, the C word, because she's real comfortable, because it is real comfortable. You know, my things speak English. So, <laughs> so we gotta talk in code, because if we don't talk in code, if you a dog mom, you know, they gonna hear the words and be like, oh, time to get up. So it is resting and it is pregnant and it is not moving. So I don't know if it is gonna give birth or what. So I'm getting the crib all cleaned up, ready to go. I'm getting ready to set up her whelping, um, her whelping nest. Um, she's about, it is about to go to sleep. <laughs> It just made a so I think it is finna start snoring and I think it found peace and it is finna go into a deep sleep. Let me show y'all it. So there it goes. It is, please excuse my walls. Trust me, I know. Child, I know. I don't know though. I don't understand how the wall looks like that considering nothing's ever hit it, but the wall does look like that and I haven't really cared because I'm finna move here in like literally less than 30 days and so I kind of decided like, F it. Like, do you know when you're just so tired of something, you just like, fuck it. So that's how I've been. But you know, I'm gonna scrub it, honestly, because she's gonna have babies and I'll be damned if I'm in here with 11 children and feeling like it's dirty. But, um, so there's it. Right there. It is not moving. It is, I think that is the, um, um, the trance position. Once it gets in that position, it is not moving. <laughs> and I don't want it to hear us or see us because she tries to get up, but she like can't get up. And then she just looks like she's not in the mood. So once I put it in that position, it is completely good. So we're going to leave it alone. <laughs> Clean my fan off because my fan is disgusting as hell. Let me show y'all. Look at it. Look, do you see that? How? <laughs> because my ceilings are so high, you guys honestly don't look up all the time. Who, who's sitting there going to the apartment going like this? Who does that? Not me. So I, didn't, I literally don't look up all the time. Look, and there's things right there. I need to get that. What is that? I can't reach it. So, yeah. And I hate a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my fan off and quit acting like I'm crazy. I don't know, I just be having like little things that I wanna do by myself. Like sometimes I wanna sing, sometimes I wanna be like, hey, y'all never have the moments so, what the hell? Intrusive thoughts. Coming through. Coming through. Coming through. Coming through. Coming through. Ah! Oh. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Don't worry, Papa got them. You get them, Papa. No, no, no. It's okay. Papa gonna get them. No, 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 no. Papa got them. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's okay. Papa got it, okay? Don't worry. Papa go get him, okay? Don't worry. Stay there. Papa got it. Papa gonna get him. You gonna get him, Papa? No, it's okay. Papa gonna get him. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Papa got it. Papa got it. Papa got it. Papa got it. Mara got it. It's okay. Thank you for trying. We know you got this, girl. We know you scared them all away. We know you do. My hands smell like chocolate. The fuck? I know this is not how you clean a fan, but I don't know how else to do it. Shut up. I don't know how to do this shit. Laughing and talking shit. Y'all come clean my damn fan. Got it. Watch this. What? Wait, wait, wait. Come back. Come back. Let me get another 
stick. You just have to keep it from rotating. I'm giving a lot of stuff away to the homeless, so. Salud. Thanks. What's pop like and drop in? It's your girl checking in with you. So I just got here to the Boudam truck, y'all. Hold on, look. I don't. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Boudam, baby. It's cute. It's a cute truck. Let's look at their menu. Oh wait, what they got? It's not a menu right here. So. Hey, hey, <laughs> what's poppin'? How are you? Good. Girl, I've been wanting to try these hot Cheeto balls for a long time. Mm -hmm. Hold on, wait, let me pause this real quick. So, we will she right here. She's in Garland, And I have an eight all day, y'all. orders a piece and with the cheese I've been seeing these balls on so many different people's pages and I've been wanting to try them because they look so good 
so you don't have to come out here and I think she's the only person in Dallas that makes them I don't know anybody else that makes these balls to be honest with you oh wait, and she got a number too y'all it's 1866 boo damn I like that that's cute so I'm excited I'm gonna let, I'm gonna hit y'all up when I get in the truck and then we're gonna go I don't know, we might go somewhere to eat them in public. I might want to go home, but I've been trying to get out of the house because I've been in the house like way too much. So we'll see. And I got my little fit. It's nothing special. baby so i just got back to my crib i'm about to start the booting ball challenge so i don't know she gave me a lot of food i thought i ordered four oh so i did order four orders oh i don't know and then she said she ran out of sauce for one of them so i stopped at the store and got me some tostitos cheese i got four orders but it's one two three four five six let's open it up see what she got and i really like it because she has her, her little label on there her little boudin ball label i'm just gonna pop it open let's do it the other way Ooh. Ooh. oh my goodness these are big I think I should have did maybe like one order in 10 minutes. How am I gonna eat all these? Oh my gosh. Oh gee, y'all look. Wait, she gave me. Oh my God, she gave me five orders of boudin balls and then some rolls. I feel bad, I should have tipped her. She said four, but I got an extra one and some. Thank you, girl. I really appreciate it. Cause I'm gonna save one for later or whatever, but I'm gonna try to do this. And I brought me a Modelo to wash it down. Don't play with me. Ciao. So this is how the balls come. They're a really nice color. They are still warm, so that's good. I mean, she does it at a good temp. But yeah, give me the balls. And it comes with a sauce and another sauce. I'm not really sure what these sauces are. There's definitely not enough sauce in that one at all, but there's definitely not enough sauce in that. I'm not sure why she did that little bit, but it's okay. So, this is all the sauce she gave me. This is like definitely not enough sauce for them three balls. That's crazy she put that much sauce in there. But she was probably trying to stretch it. But um, yeah. So that's okay. We'll make it work. So make sure whenever you go, ooh, and it's open. So it just came out. Um, so make, oh, and it got on the things. Yeah, it's open. So yeah, make sure you ask for more sauce. And yeah. She gave me all these. I can't even complain though. I'm not gonna be a bitch. Cause she gave me a whole bunch of extra and I'm so excited. So I really appreciate it. All right, so let's dig in. So I'm gonna try <laughs> to eat this shit in less than 10 minutes. Well, you know, I signed up for this. So let's try it, girl. And I got me some extra cheese. And I'm glad I did. Um, there's definitely not enough. But there probably is. Who knows? But she did make it stretch and she gave me extra. So I really, really cannot complain. And she also gave me some egg rolls. I'm going to take this from my Modelo. And I'm going to start my timer. 
10 minutes. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> Let's do it. Woo! Gonna get started. Let's go. First, put them like this so I can start. Damn. I signed up for it. Let's go. So I'm gonna try to eat all these balls in 10 minutes. Hmm, I'm trying to eat his balls in 10 minutes. I'm <laughs> doing that's what she said. Let's go. 10 minutes. All right. I just started the timer. Wow. That's big. Hmm. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I haven't wanted to taste these forever. It's really like squishy. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. What is this? Ranch dressing? Oh, that's ranch. So it's a ranch dressing dip. Mmm. Mm. So it's basically like rice. It looked good on camera. But I'm going to open this cheese dip. Because I thought it came with cheese dip. That is not cheese dip. I think I even asked her. I was like, it comes with the cheese dip, right? And she said, yes. This is not cheese dip. This is... Definitely ranch. What is this? Sweet and sour sauce? Oh shit, it's falling apart. Mm. Okay. So she gave me a sweet and sour sauce. I'm thinking it's for my egg rolls. That's definitely for the egg rolls. <clears throat> but it was in this, so I thought it was for this. <clears throat> See how many I can eat. Jeez. Mm. It's decent. I, mm, I feel like that what they should do is make the crust around it a lot thicker. Because once you start biting into it, the crust is over with. Why does this cheese dip smell like feet? It smells like, well, you know what I mean. Well, nah, that don't go. Her dip, use her dipping sauce. I thought it was a cheese dip, so I stopped to get cheese dip, but it's a ranch. Mm. I should have smoked some marijuana before this. Don't tell me I'm already done. I have waited years for these. It's, it's decent though, so, and it's a nice appetizer. Mm. Boy. So. Hmm. So, honest review, always. It's decent. It's not what I thought it was gonna be. So, it's basically just a ball of rice covered with a thin layer of, of breading, of Cheetos. So the thing is, it looks good on the camera. It's not really all that though. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm done already. I just failed the challenge. If it had meat in it, I would take all this shit on, but it is so squishy. So I would recommend just getting one order, obviously. I'm just doing this for the challenge. Um, maybe ask her to um, make them extra crispy. 
Um, and maybe, I don't know. Oh, it just fell apart. Of course, it's not like a bad thing. But, I ain't feeling it. Mm -mm. That sucks. I've been waiting to eat these forever. I am disappointed. I mean, they're not that bad. They're, they're decent for like, um, if you were to eat one, that would be cool. But once you start getting to the second one, it's like, That cheese sauce ain't no good for this. Yo. Why did I go get Tostitos cheese? This shit tastes like damn feet. Like it tastes like, you know what I mean? Not that I mean, you know, I'm like, I got feet taste in my mouth, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Like Tostitos cheese is just, that can't be real cheese. I don't know. But I don't have enough sauce for everything, so. Make sure you get two or three sauces. Cause I feel like one of her sauces is for one voting ball. Mm. Well, I failed the challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm out. That sucked. I was so excited to eat these things. And they not even know that. I would say to get three friends, go get one order, and all of y'all eat one ball. Cause they are humongous and squishy. She told me I was gonna be able to eat all these and she was not lying. Which I got three whole orders left. I cannot eat this. It's not sitting well on my stomach. Oh my God. Well, I got two minutes left, so let me try to finish the challenge. I'm gonna try her egg rolls. I'm gonna hand those out to um, tomorrow to like these homeless people out here. I know they'll tear that up. I'm gonna keep two orders of them though for like a snack. So she got these egg rolls here. I definitely would recommend, let's try her egg rolls. Cause there's a guy out here in Dallas, Texas. He goes by the name of Ross Rolls. I would not recommend shopping with him at all. He does not do good business. He includes his personal life into his business. So for instance, if you, let me turn this down. If you were to place an order with him, he may or may not have your order ready depending on his baby mama or his personal life. So he'll tell you that he'll have an order ready for you. And then, you know, the next day, maybe something's going on in his life and he'll tell you he's not gonna make them because he has baby mama drama or like whatever else is going on. So I personally would not recommend y'all shopping with him. I would say go to her for your roles because she has an actual business. He, yes, he works in his kitchen, it's not a big deal, but he's not a legit chef. I've been having, I've been trying to get booty balls from him forever and he would always tell me I'm gonna make them and he would not make them because he didn't have orders. How are you gonna get orders if you don't make the food? Like you probably could, some people from Dallas are probably gonna see this and wanna go try her booty balls. <laughs> like, well, I ain't, I'm never shopping with, I'm never, do not shop with Ross Rolls, go to your da Boudam truck. Let's try her egg rolls. Oh. It's not an egg roll. It's a badam boudam roll. So whatever's in the boudam balls is in this roll. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I failed the challenge, y'all. I can't, like, there's not enough sauce. That one's sauce is done. I'm not gonna eat into these two because I do wanna give these away. Challenge is over. I do want to give these out tomorrow. I'm going to give those three orders out to um, some homeless people that, because you know, I stay downtown and I know they'll probably really, you know, appreciate that. So, um, I'm going to give those to them because I'm, now that I've tasted it, I'm not like interested anymore. Um, 
I actually can't even take another bite. So let me let me go through the flavor. Let me go through the flavor. I'll try the flavor. Let's tell, talk to y'all about the flavor of the Boudin Ball. So first, it don't smell like nothing. It smell like, you know, like maybe a little bit of fried something. And then when you take the first bite, So the, the sauce is what turns it up a little bit. By itself, I don't have no napkins, so I'm gonna use this. By itself, it's not good. By itself, it doesn't really taste like nothing. Um, you don't taste the hot Cheeto by itself. And um, wait, let me try one more time. Yeah, mm -mm. I don't really taste, you know what I mean, flavor-wise, it's not really any flavor in them. Um, the hot Cheeto on the outside is just for the look and maybe for a little bit of substance. If they made it a little thicker and a little crunchier, that would complement the ball more, because once you start taking a couple bites, it's too soggy, too squishy. Um, and yeah, there's no flavor in it for real. So you need sauce to eat these. And do not get Tostitos cheese because that is going like, to fuck you up. And then her egg rolls, um, I'm not really feeling the egg rolls. But they look nice, they look nice, you know what I mean? They look really nice, they look really good. But yeah. Really kind of upset. I waited so long for these balls to try to finally have time to go and get them and eat them. They're not even good like that. Well. Next time I've tried food challenge, I'm gonna not get so much, I guess. I don't always get this much, cause I'll just give it out to the homeless people. I'm gonna give all this to the homeless people. I'm not gonna eat this. <clears throat> if it was so good, then I would keep it and um, you know, snack on it for a couple days. But it's not worth keeping. I'm not trying to be mean at all. I'm not trying to be rude. It's honest review. This is what we do. I'm an influencer. I influence or I. Influ I either influence people to shop with you or influence people to not shop with you. If you like Boudin balls for real and you just like the way that they taste, go shop. If you're wondering and you want to try it out, go shop. But if you want you know, to know what they're going to taste like before you get them, that's why I'm here. And it's not what I thought it was going to be. Kind of upset about it. Now I want to go take a nap. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of sleepy now. <laughs> Kind of sleepy, but I don't need to do that because I need to finish my painting. <clears throat> so yeah. I'm gonna put all this up and take my ass back inside and not eat so much calories. <sighs> Y'all, I think I'm gonna live my life this year. 2024, I'd be living my life, but I'd be living my life safely. I don't like to take risks, big risks. I don't like to do that. Cause then it could risk me losing everything that I have or problems happening. And I do not do well with problems. And I could solve a problem, but I'd rather everything go easy and smoothly. So, ugh. My stomach is sick to, I'm sick to my stomach. Kind of mad. I really wanted to go in and eat these hoes. Like I was finna like, I was finna start scarfing in, but the first bite, I was like, what? This is what I've been waiting all these months? This is why my body was like, don't even, it ain't even that big of a deal. And I'm so mad I got that cheese sauce because that cheese sauce was not what I thought. And it's not cheese sauce that she has, it's ranch. I don't know why when I said, does it come with a cheese sauce? She said, yes. 
It ain't, this ain't cheese sauce. This is not cheese. This is ranch. Cause if she would have said, no, it's ranch. I would have got me some ranch, not cheese. <clears throat> Hey honeys, what's pop like and dropping? It's your girl checking in with you. So I just got back from a cute little date. Let me turn these lights off because they is distracting me. Stop, okay. I just got back from a cute little date. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was lame as fuck. I think he was expecting, my earring just came out. At least it came out now. Um, I think he was expecting some po some punani. I think he was expecting some coochie, girl. But no, I wasn't finna give him no coochie for a two hundred dollar ticket. And I don't even I don't care how much the ticket was. I'm not finna give you no coochie just because you took me out to eat. And not even just that, the food wasn't that good, girl. We went to Catbird, and as you could tell, my cat wasn't bird. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Let me move this stuff. Look, I'm giving away these clothes to the homeless people. Y'all can go with me tomorrow, so excuse this. Move it over here. A lot, bitch, it's a lot, but look. It was a cute little outfit. Um, I wore this black dress with this leather jacket. Definitely wouldn't have suggested wearing this leather jacket with this dress because, girl, it just don't look that good. Honestly, I'm just wearing it because it was last minute and I didn't go shopping. And I'm not gonna lie, this guy wasn't, whatever. So this is the dress. Very cute, very classy. Um, I really, really like this dress. Uh, paired with some nice, um, I paired them with some gold heels. Of course, I don't have them on now, and it's giving hourglass. And I just love the detailing on the top. And you can still see your boobies. So it's really cute, and my hair is decent. Um, I need to wash it. So I'm not gonna lie, this date night was not like a success success like it should have been. Um, I've known about this date for like a couple days now, but I just still wasn't, you know, I don't know, I wasn't ready and I wasn't even really feeling it, so maybe that's why it wasn't a success. But my hair is cute, dress cute, whatever. And Catbird is just not the place to go. It's a place to go if you just wanna have a couple drinks and just da 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 da, like, they have finger food now, girl. I'm talking about this little food. So, and we didn't know that. I didn't know that. Last time I was there, they had a full menu. They just changed their menu. So, I think he was a little bit embarrassed about, you know, the whole quality of everything. And I was just like, kind of over it. Because even the drinks, like, girl, we had, I don't know, maybe three or four rounds of drinks. And it's just giving, like, I'm sober and I had some tea. Okay, it's giving, I had tea is giving i had coffee for breakfast so whatever we're home now camila's stuff you know hey bro so i got i went to the mail got my parcel i got me some stuff for camila because y'all know she's about to have her babies let me show y'all her whelping area so a whelping area is basically the place where your dog is going to have their babies she's definitely about to have them she keeps taking a shit there's stuff coming out of her vagina she's about to have them um, so this is where she's gonna have her babies at. Oh, and look, y'all, I finished this. Oh, sorry, Mar. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is why we're moving, because, like, she's right here in my space. It's just too tight. We're moving. But, yeah, so I just finished this painting, my first time ever doing something like this. It's called an expression art. I fucking love. Look at the granite that I did. I like this one, but then I like this one, too how the gold and white is overpowering, but I don't like this one because it's like, the black is overpowering. And I did the edges really nice. This edge is different from this edge, and it's just like, look at the gold out. The foil that I put is like doing it justice. I'm not done yet though, I still have to go around the border. And um, I blackened it out. Um, well, this is the other one that I have behind there. Um, but I'm gonna go and make the border a solid black and then go over it one more time with resin. Fill in here with some more resin to fill in the little, um, oh no, what the fuck is that? Oh no, what is this? I'm mad about that, but I'm gonna make that work. I'm gonna put some gold over it. Um, there's a few pieces like, that I'm mad about, like right here, the foil kind of went away from the painting and went this way. So I'm a little bad about that because I can't do anything with that. I can't take it off or nothing. I might have to put some gold paint over it or some black paint. 
or just leave it. You see, like there's a couple places where the foil went away from the actual painting. Well, the foil went away from where it was supposed to be. There's just a couple places. Um, it's actually just on this side. This is when I first started doing it, so I wasn't really familiar with how the sh it shifts. Like the paint be shifting sometimes. So when it shifts, the foil is shifting. Um, so I've learned now to um, wait to do the foil till I'm done. But um, on this, I did it perfectly because I knew that it was shifting. So I was keeping an eye out for it. So as you could tell, none of the foil on these two, sh on these three, like it didn't shift at all. On this side, it shifted a little bit, but it's okay. Um, I love it. I fucking love it. And I just cannot believe that I did that. But anyways, this is Camila's welcoming area. As you can see, she's peed. So I'm about to pick up all of this um, right here. And this is where I'm going to have her ready to have her babies. I got her a pregnancy pillow and a camera so I can watch her when I'm gone. Just in case I have to go do something. Please excuse all this area. Like, I'm getting rid of this whole area. Like, that's why I want a two-bedroom because this is, like, a whole room right here. And I don't want my office in my living room anymore. It's only messy right now because I haven't given a shit about it. It's a, usually a lot more organized. But, girl, I have not been caring about that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and roll up a little joint while I undo this. Well, before I do it. Oh, and do y'all see this? Take one. <laughs> so I got this cute little tape, like movie clapper. Ooh. And it's funny because the scene, I put bitch, take one, roll, you hungry, call, the date, call 991, produce, probably company, sound, yo mama, a director, mandingo, cameraman, superhead. Okay. Take one, take two and take mother by the end of it. I thought it was cute because I want to start uh, having like little sit downs with people, not like a podcast, but just having you know, people on my blog that I talk with about certain subjects. Because sometimes I get bored talking to myself and talking to y'all because y'all not here with me. So, I got that. Just, I don't know, I thought it would be cute, like a little cute little aesthetic just to have. But aside from that, I got some stuff for Camila for her to have babies. Um, so first I got her some heat, some heat lamps for the puppies to stay warm. Unfortunately, I did not know that they did not come with light bulbs. So, don't have the light bulbs, but that's okay. I just ordered them off Amazon. I ordered the infrared ones, the 250 watts, the warmest ones. Um, and they will be here on Saturday. So I'm hoping she doesn't have her babies tomorrow because she's due on the 8th. 60 days from the day they were inseminated. She was inseminated on October 8th, so she should be due tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping she does not go into labor because mommy is not all the way ready like she's supposed to be. I want my heat lamps to be here. I want everything to be perfect. Um, I'm gonna put those over there in a second. I'm gonna clean that out first because she peed. Um, and then I ordered like a little kit, first aid kit, I guess you could say. So it came with a first aid kit bag, but there is no first aid kit stuff in it. So I'm not really sure why they have the bag. But um, and then it also came with little collars for the dogs, um, ID collars. That way I can know which dog is which, I guess. But they're all gonna come out pretty different. So I think I'll be able to tell, I really don't know. And then it also comes with whelping detail cards. So these are the cards where you can put their date of birth, their gender. Oh, that's what this is for. So when the dog comes out, basically, I will get the blue one, and it has blue. I'll put the date of birth, the gender, the color, the weight at birth. I have a scale. When it's been vi vaccinated, microchips, and then the details. My friend is 15 minutes away. Shit. Um, but. Um, and then it comes with gloves, which I already have. I don't know what this is for. I know this is for like the umbilical cords, 
But I don't know about is the umbilical cord that easy to cut? You could cut it with a plastic. I kind of want my money back. This shit seemed like real ghetto. I'm gonna have my baby's babies with plastic stuff. What is this? I think this is for the umbilical cords. I don't know. Hey, what's what's up? Yeah, I seen your text. You're 15 minutes away. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, bye. So yeah, there's that. I'm so busy right now. My friends are. I don't know. People are getting on my nerves. People are acting like they don't have a life. I don't know. No, I'm not talking about this person, but just people, like, whatever. So I'm just going to pull all this stuff in here. I'm just going to take it for what it is. If these don't cut through, I am definitely going to be mad. And then it comes with little bottle feeding stuff. Um, feed them. So I'm excited about that part. Is it just because I want her to have a break. When they're done, when they're born, she's going to have time with them. And what is this feeding kit? This is to feed them, too. Cool. And then it comes with some gloves. I'm actually going to keep the gloves in there. So they don't get dirty. And then I need a whole little purse for this shit. I want a little purse for it, like a little doggy purse. I don't have one, though. I'm going to put the whelping stuff in here. The collars. And then it comes with like a booger thingy. Because I think sometimes they get boogers in their nose and they can't breathe. Because they're brand new and little aliens and they don't know what the hell's going on. They don't know how to breathe by themselves and stuff. Ill, right? So we got this because little shit's not going to be able to breathe on their own. And then this, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm about to actually use this right now. So I want to hear them. They honestly been getting on my nerves. They've been running around in her belly and just causing her lots of pain. And you know what? I told her I fight puppies. I told her I fight puppies. You know what I mean? Like, girl, I've known you for six years. I don't know these little things. I care about you. I don't care about them. It might be rude to say, but it's true. I don't care about them puppies. I care about her. So I was like, y'all need to quit moving around or else we finna fight because y'all doing too much. And well, how does this go? You trying to tell me they put this thingy in here like I'm supposed to know how to put this together? And this doesn't even look right. First of all, this obviously goes here. But then where does this thing go? That all makes, oh. the picture because don't nobody got time to be figuring this out it doesn't even come with instructions i'm just look at the picture i'm really good at pictures it can't be that difficult but i can really hear it though okay so clearly that don't make sense this is supposed to go like this two things go if this one go here and this one go here oh that would make more sense see i'm good at pictures so i'm gonna hear them puppies <clears throat> so this one goes here this one goes in there i'm going to assume This goes on the belly. I'm going to assume this goes here. I'm gonna assume this one goes in here. Then I'm gonna assume that this goes here. See, sometimes assuming gets you places and sometimes it don't. But when you smart, sometimes you go with your gut. So I wouldn't say I assume. I would say it's a 
intuition, and then this is going to go on the end. And now, I can hear them motherfucking babies. OMG, don't play with me. Hold up. No way. I'm a heart. Where my heart? Where my heartbeat go? Oh, ow. I can hear that. Damn. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Little beat. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm sorry. But hold up. Mara, come here. Let me see if I can see your heart. Come here. Come here, look. Come here, baby. Can I hear your heartbeat? <gasps> I can hear her heartbeat in. That's so cool. Puppies, what's up? Are they crying? Ew. Did you just burp? You're nasty. How come they're not making noises? Do you have sound in your titties? I don't hear nothing, girl. Um. It definitely worked. That is really cool. But yeah, that's where we're at with it. I'm about to go ahead and get ready to settle down. I have some company coming over. We're gonna smoke and chill. And I'm gonna get ready to start packing up soon because I have to move. I'm moving to somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> but um, ooh girl, I need to lose some more weight. People keep saying I'm okay, but I feel like I'm too thick. I feel like my booty a little too big, like to be honest with you. Um but yeah, so I'm going to get dressed and get comfy, put on some sweats, put all this stuff up, and I'm gonna tap in with y'all when I get settled. Oh girl, that's okay. Go ahead, push it out, push it out, baby. Oh um, gee. Um, I think I should. Can you grab another one of them thingies for me? Yeah. Um, it's under on this side. It's a pee pad. She's pushing. She's gonna push one out. No. no. On this, on the island. On the island? Mm -hmm. oh. It's okay, right, later. Right yes, she's gonna push one out. Yeah, there's, you see the little pee pads in the back right there? Yeah. They're inside that cube thing. I'm gonna freak out. And I need one of these to catch it, I guess. Yeah. Or should I just let her? No, yeah, I'm gonna, she gonna need help, but she probably like, what the fuck? And I need that because I do not want it to be on me. No, look, watch. She's gonna start. She be, she's pushing like. See, see, she's like pushing them hoes out. I'm trying to, but I'm gonna ask Russo if I should do anything or if I should just. I mean, I'm gonna stay here because she. I don't want her to try to get up, but. I don't know if I should try to like put my. Do I put my finger in there? No. Fuck, I don't know, baby. I ain't gonna lie, I never had any Oh, no so you don't do that Frenchy thing. Mm. 
thought you knew the guys with the whole Frenchy thing. Okay. okay, baby. You're still a pretty girl. Alright, tell them to get the fuck out. I need to get out of there. Let it out, baby. It's okay. I'll catch it. Oh, Jesus. Ain't that some shit? She done had babies before me. <laughs> right? Six years. She just turned six. She just turned six. She big girl now. I had got them for breeding. I just never got around to. Oh, gosh. Can you give me that other glove that's over there, please? OMG, this really happening right now, girl. Push that shit out. Ooh, help me, please help me. <laughs> oh my God, I should I should, oh, what do I do when it, when it comes out? What do I do when it comes out? Do I just hold it? Oh my God, it's coming out. Uh, just like, uh, try to keep it warm. Okay, keep it warm. I'm gonna put it, oh shit. Okay, so it's coming out. Girl, you're doing a good job. Babe, help me! What do I do? Uh, you let her push it on. Wake up! Is it supposed to make noise? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, baby! Right when it comes out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could say, um... Is the placenta bag over the pup? No. Oh, well then try to get... Oh, it's coming out. The okay. You gotta, you gotta, the nose. Um, can you give me that little kit right there? That, 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 that circle thing? Give me that circle thing. That thing you there. Yeah, Hi, you baby. Hi. Hi, Hi how are, are you? Nose. That's you right there that was doing all that. It's okay. You did a great job. Hi. 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 Okay. Oh, shit. Is this? Oh, you did a great job. Oh, hello. Do I like, hi. It's your baby. He's cute. Oh my goodness. Wow. Hi. Here. Let her eat it? Let her eat what? No. Do what I do yeah, with the boost in the set. She don't clean her pub yet. So let her eat this, this big old red ball? Mm-hmm. The yeah, whole yeah. thing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do your thing, girl. Yeah, she just doing a job taking care of cleaning the puppy. Oh. Is she supposed to eat the whole thing off? Yeah. Oh, she just yeah. ate the whole thing. I think she just clipped him. He's bleeding. Mm -hmm. I think she... Wait, I think she hurt him. Did she hurt him? Wait, no, 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 no. I think she hurt him. He's bleeding. Is he supposed to be bleeding? Let me see. Is he supposed to bleed him? Fuck. No, he's bleeding now. Did she kill him? Is she not a shit licking? I don't think so. There's blood though. This is her blood. Her blood. Are you okay? Is he okay? <sighs> What's going no, on? That's what she's supposed to do. Did she hurt him though? There's blood. Did she kill him? Are you sure? Pick him up. Okay. Hi. I'm so just blood. Can you help me? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Roll over. Is he supposed to eat suck on our nipples right now? <laughs> Girl, get your puppy. Is there another one in there? Oh. Ain't no way this is the only one. Ew. Girl, you nasty. You hate that whole thing. So now what do I do? Hi. Nah, if she's carrying more, she, it's gonna be a while. So do I give him nipples? Oh, I give him milk. Fuck, I didn't get goat milk. Fuck. I didn't know this was gonna happen right now. What do I do? 
Let the cup stand at a moment. Okay. Body heat. Do I make sure he stays alive? Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. There's your mommy. Hi. Ew. You so you so kind of cute. Well, it wasn't that bad. Jeez, that shit was crazy, girl. Girl, you just pushed that shit out. And she just ate all that shit. I thought she killed him. She just ate his whole umbilical, umbilical cord yeah, off. She's supposed to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Girl, what you licking? It's a boy. Ew. You're a boy. I'm cute, though. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> I might give y'all one of these for free. You <laughs> see how many they have. <sighs> she definitely got more. You did a good job. Damn, that was nasty. Ew, I know her breast stank. Ooh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, I know you're a steak, girl. You know, he definitely gotta get his tail dog because we do not do tails. We do not do tails. Hi, daddy. How are you? I know you know my voice. Ooh. Jeez, well, shit. I'm not gonna keep you on the phone. I know you got shit going. Right, Thank you, cause that was freaky. Yeah, not so. <clears throat> and not just gonna come out, boom, boom, boom. You know, she gotta. She got. It's like a. She gotta start all the way back over with the um. What did you say? Well, I know with her labor, she's in labor right now. Okay, so what do I do um, to feed them? Like, I, so I need to go get some milk. I forgot to get goat milk. I didn't know she was gonna be in labor right now. Um, but that is sixty days, right on, right on the A. Right. So now I wouldn't. I would try to see if if she allows it. I would try to put them. I would try to latch them. Oh, on so right. they'll start sucking now? Yeah. Oh. Tell me if you can. So basically, with your glove. Try to put your finger up to their nose, their mouth, and see if they start latching onto the fingers, the latex. Mm -hmm. If they do that, then of course you can go ahead and put them on a nipple. They'll, you know, they'll try to uh, take it in on her. It's your baby. Okay, and and so, um, <clears throat> other than that, to keep them alive, that's it. Yeah, they need to be. They need to stay warm, stay under some heat. Yeah, I got the the little. Um, but they need to eat every three hours, every okay. two or three hours. Especially right now, yeah, um, like so, so basically the very first week is the most important week of them being born. No, I'm putting this milk in his mouth right now. She got a lot of milk. I've been giving her these prenatal vitamins. Her shit like milking like a mother. That's so dope. That's so cool. <laughs> So like right now it's 12 o'clock, so the next one they come to a 31 o'clock. <sighs> Jesus, well. Thank you. Let me turn some music on. I got music playing. Okay. I'm gonna go to sweats because I don't know what kind of art. You want to Oh, he's 
sucking on me. Yay. Yeah, I, was, I, I didn't want to, you know. What? I'm sucking, sucking on, on the nipple. Hold on. What? Because she has a lot of milk coming out. So I just squeezed it and pointed him. So she finna have another fucking baby. No, I saw you panic for that. I'm telling you, that's exactly what you're just supposed to do. It's easy. Yeah, you done it. It's because his hair was black. I was like, whoa. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm gonna have a crazy. Jesus. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna touch you because I got all this blood on my hand. I don't even know why I'm touching my phone. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to just take off on you. Like no, that. you're good. Go ahead. You no. over here. Go ahead. Do your stuff. This all I know. I got under control now. I'm no, I want, I want you to tell me. Would you rather? Would you rather me take off? Yeah, I wouldn't want you to just say, like, I got it, and honestly, this is going to be a process, because I don't know how many are exactly, in there. Yeah. I know there's a couple of them in there, probably like four, mm-hmm. so it's going to be a, a, um, yeah. a couple hour process. But honestly, that's why I um, canceled a couple of my plans. You need to fish me up, because I got blood. Like, I just <laughs> you did a great job, Mama. You did so good. You did so good. I'm so fucking proud of you, baby girl. You pushed that shit out like nothing. You pushed that shit out like nothing, girl. I couldn't do it. Yeah, look, he, he let himself go. Let him just explore. You know, here, look, and look, let me, sh- let me, I should probably pick this one up. Well, no, let me not touch y'all right now. Let me go change, because I got all white on. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I wanted to bring. Try not to bring more beer. Next time, bring some food. Yeah. 
<laughs> Baby, I told you, you let me know I got you. You don't 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 feel like you're asking me for nothing. Yeah, let me go a second. You did a great job. You look good, Papa. We like our babies. Come on. I'll take over there. I'll look for this for you. I'm ready for this, okay, let's go.
He's stingy. What's he doing, Mama? He's more than a baby. So an explorer. You just want to explore. <laughs> it's a puppy. Look. It's okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. You're not going to die. No, no, no. It's a puppy. No, it's a puppy. Me la puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
fruits for you. Are bananas good for dogs? Bound. Get your ass over there. Go. Who you growling at?
you can eat raspberries. Ooh. I want one. Can dogs eat grapefruit? Each nickel that he wants at the time that he wants. He picked me. He needs a picky thing. Picky thing in the corner. Look, Take care of your puppy for a little second. I'm hungry. Thank you, Happy. 
fruit. She had the puppies, Papa. She had the puppies. You still my baby, though. You still my baby. I don't know them. I know you for what, four years? You had your fourth birthday. I know you for four years. I know you for nine. We go back in a trap, okay? So don't ever think, Papa, come here, Dada. I love you. Come here. Look at how he acting. Baby, I love you forever, Dada. I love you forever. You know, I don't know them. Them just little motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Look what they're doing to her. They're stressing her out. She got milk. Come here. You mad at me? Hey, chill out. You finna have the next one? Hey, what are you doing? Stay this way, because you finna have another one. Here in like a little bit. And oop, don't squish his head. Put him right here. And... I don't want you to I can't let us do that with no gloves on. Just chill. I don't want you to bleed and get things everywhere, okay? And I don't want nothing bad happen. So just he doing too much. So he needs to start here. Just chill.
Come here, let's get up real quick, baby. Get up. Can you get up? Get up, baby. Get up, mama. Get up, mama. Come get him. Come get him. Come get him real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Mila. Under control. She just picked up her makeup by her mouth. You gotta be careful because you know you got a, uh, got an ugly grip. You okay? Give me a second to get you all cleaned up, okay? It's okay. Make sure you don't get all to where you can't reach him, okay? Make sure this is baby proof. Just go in the trash. Oh shit. Okay? It's okay. Don't worry about that shit, girl. Just don't squish it. Camila is in labor and y'all it is ghetto it is ghetto I was not ready for this I'm not gonna lie to you I was not ready Camila is in labor um, where's he at girl you can't let him get over here he's gonna suffocate yeah it is stuff coming out of that thing there she's gonna have another one here soon I have to time it this time. He just keeps climbing up. Here, I got you, girl. He don't know what he's doing. He just keep climbing up on her. She loves her baby, though. She picked him up by the mouth a minute ago. Um, <clears throat> She's not playing by her shit. She never has with bones and everything. She's not playing by her babies, neither. She's a great mom. She's a great mom. So we're going to let her rest. She's got her bananas, her raspberries, her blueberries, her grapefruit, her oranges for vitamin c she's had her um yeah bananas all the all the good fruits and water so she's good right now hydrated she's not hungry or nothing she's just chilling. i think he's trying to go back inside of the vagina i don't think that's a healthy thing for you to do sir so i think he stay that way that he wants to go see his brothers and i think he hears them they're coming out in a little bit you need to relax so I think they told me to keep them separate. Um, I don't have a separate thing right now. That's why I'm gonna get off this camera because y'all, it's a lot going on right now. I was not ready. Um, maybe though I should have been. Yeah. You got my gloves though. He keep climbing. Dude, quit climbing, dude. Quit climbing. Leave your mom alone. Eat a nipple. Eat a nipple. Suck a nipple. Your brothers is gonna be out real soon. Yeah, suck the nipple right there and just go to sleep. What are you looking for? Look, see? He's finding the nipple. He looking for the nipple. It's right there in his face. It's right here. You almost got it. Got it. He got it. He found it. 
I helped him lead him to the new room. And now I'm gonna just be quiet for a little bit so I can figure shit out. I got you, Mila. Girl, I got you. You did a good job, girl. You just killed that chick, girl. Him healthy. Oh, I need a Patron. I need a Patron break. Alright, so I'm taking Camila a bath. While I got the puppy in here. He's right there. You can't really see him. But he's in there. I know this is trashy as hell, but y'all was not ready for this. I'm about to move. So let me take her bath. Camila, come, Camila, Camila, come here, baby. Come here. said about putting them together. Ready to go, mommy? Come on. Come on. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. So this is the baby. Y'all need the baby. <laughs> Let's get them together, though.
peace, I need a God. I need a God that pushes me to God.
All right, y'all, so I just got home from Big Lots. I should be getting a call maybe like in four or five hours. So y'all, I have been stressed out since Camila started her labor. She had to get a C-section and I was crying my eyes out because I didn't even want them to cut her open. And I know that could lead to her possibly losing her life and the puppies, so it kind of just made me really sad. Like I told them straight up, like if it's between her and the puppies, I choose her. I don't really too much give a fuck about the puppies without her. So what they said, everything should be fine, that she should live. So right now I'm just, I was supposed to come home and get some sleep, but how can you sleep during a moment like this? Um, so yeah, I cannot sleep right now or take a nap or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the crib ready for her and her puppies to get here, cause it is a mess. I'm actually gonna show y'all because I'm about to move. Um, some of y'all may, some of y'all know, some of y'all don't know that I had two apartments and I recently um, ended the lease at my other apartment. And now, ooh, I just spilled the water. Um, so now I have two apart, I have one apartment full of I have one apartment full of stuff wait girl I can't even see I can't even think like I've been up all night I have not slept since Camila started giving birth yesterday um but I have two stuffs two apartments worth of stuff in one apartment so it is very cluttered, cluttered in here as you can see there is stuff everywhere like i literally cannot make this up the puppies are in here yeah, they're in there sleeping i shouldn't have moved it but yeah they're in there um i took them with me to big lots that's why they're in that thing so she is actually gonna have seven puppies um, I they got an x-ray because she was taking way too long to deliver her babies which I can under, understand your first time you're thinking about pushing out one not six or seven so I, I get it Camila I get it and I'm having faith uh, I was bawling my eyes out but I'm feeling a lot better but um, it is time for, about to be time for them to eat because we've been apart from her for me oh shit oh, I forgot to spill this water on the floor it's a mess in here y'all a mess let me grab this towel so I can clean up some Sorry, Mar. Sorry. I didn't mean to um, kick her while I like need her. Um, let me get this towel for the floor. <sighs> but I made her feed them before she went and got her C-section. I, you know, held her down and let them eat. Um, what time is it now? It is six. I dropped her off around um, four. So four, five, six, seven. So it's been about three hours. So here in a little bit, it's gonna be time for them to eat. Um, and I got everything for them to eat, but I need to get set up first because it is a mess in here and I just can't stand it. So I'm probably gonna time lapse this while I clean up and get their area set up. So you know, I decided I'm actually gonna feed them first before I start doing stuff. That way they can get settled. Now they're in this little bitty thing, since it's just two of them. And I bought this cat litter box. I wanted to get a fish tank, because um, I wanted it to be clear, that way it was high enough for her not to get in it, and but clear enough for her to see that her puppies are okay. Um, but I was gonna do all that, because I was like, what am I gonna do with the fish tank when I'm done with it? <laughs> so I got this. And they are starting to shit, little nasty things. So I'm actually gonna lay one of these down, puppy pad, since they're gonna be being nasty already. And I'm gonna go ahead and feed them so they're not whiny and they will go to sleep. But see, I'm actually gonna clip, like, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this because they've been trying to get under the stuff that I put. So I'm actually gonna clip the sides with
Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.